Hey Glam Squad, it's Glamour Girl, and this is going to be a wig review. So Glam guys, I understand if you'll turn this off, okay? It's not going to hurt my feelings. I'll catch you in the next video, okay? Um, but Glamour Girls, let me, let me tell you about this wig, okay? So it is a sensational wig. It's their Empress line. Um, this is in Perm Romance. It's 1B. I'm going to take a still shot of this later and then you know chop and screw it in there so you guys can actually get a peek of it and actually view it um but i'll have to do that shit in post-production and shit with the magic of editing okay um but i can't tell you where i got it because i don't remember but i usually get my because okay i don't remember because i got this wig about a year ago and um it took me so long to like really play with it and do anything with it because it was a lace front wig and lace front scared me up until now but I'll go ahead and put down links for all the places that I actually buy wigs like Sam's Beauty and Sister Wigs and stuff like that I think there's like two more I'll put the links down in the description box so you ladies can go and um see what's in your range like your price range it's not gonna be super expensive it's synthetic y'all this ain't real hair i'm poor i'm in college i don't got time for this this is a 30 dollar wig okay 30 dollars okay so it does fluctuate depending on the actual site that you purchase from but it's gonna range from like 30 to 35 dollars it may even be cheaper than 30 dollars so just go bargain hunt as i know we all like to do but um, it's gonna come with about this much lace when you come out the box and just take some scissors and start to cut it. Don't cut it straight across, right? Because none of our hairlines are straight across. Um, just kind of make it look like your hairline. It could be a little bit jagged, that's cool, right? Um, and then after I did that, I went in and I plucked some of the hairs in the hairline because nobody's hairline is as thick as these wigs come and i'm a furry bitch okay i'm a furry hairy individual and my hairline isn't even that thick so i went and plucked out some of the hairs some people use tweezers for plucking i literally just take one strand of hair wrap it around my finger and pull don't pull too hard because you might rip the lace um just taking it and yanking it really gently the hair will come out um and you also do that for the middle part right here um and like i said these come pretty full this is a pretty full wig um so i got tired in the middle <laughs> of doing the part right so if you don't feel like pulling the part like plucking the part if you if you get tired in the middle of it or anything like that take your concealer um and use a lighter concealer usually whatever you use under your eyebrows and just put it right there in the middle you'll be good if you don't, you know, do makeup and don't have concealer, go to the beauty supply store. They got concealer. I use LA Pro Girl. Um, and just kind of, if you don't, especially if you don't use makeup, you're not going to know what color is light enough to match your scalp. Just kind of match whatever that inside part right there is. You're going to be good. And because you don't want it too dark and you don't want it too light. So just match the inside of your arm. Then you should have the perfect color, right? But that's about it. Um, oh, let me tell y'all about braiding because a bitch don't know how to braid, right? So I don't do straight back cornrows because I don't know how to braid. I slick my hair all the way back into a low ponytail and then I take the ponytail because it's just like a puff and um, I braid it. I just braid it down. I know how to do that. I know how to do them braids, but that's about it. And then I pull them up here to the front and I bobby pin them. And then I put the wig cap over it and then you know throw the wig on over that so for those of you guys that don't know how to corn roll like a bitch like me do that and it works um because in all honesty it does get a little bit bulky in the back because i do that but my hair is so long even if somebody corn rolled it they were going to have to pin the excess hair somewhere so that bulk was going to be there any damn way and i mean for the most part the wig lays pretty flat so it's not going to be that big of a deal so um like comment subscribe share let me go let me let me know what you guys think um follow me on instagram and on twitter instagram's at gorgeous glamour twitter is at glamour girl and i will see you guys in my next video i love you glam squad